In this tutorial, I'll be exploring the Hypersaur oscillator. And to start with, I'll be working with it in oscillator 2. Now basically, the Hypersaur is an oscillator which is designed to generate multiple sawtooth waves at the same time. And the parameter assigned to the main controller is called density. And with this, you determine the number of saws, each of which is represented by a vertical line here. So you can dial in anywhere between one saw wave and nine saw waves. Now at the moment it doesn't sound very much like there are nine saw waves, and that's because they're all tuned to exactly the same pitch. So we need to detune them to get the nice kind of warmth that uh, you expect from this kind of sound. Now you can either use the detune parameter down here, but actually it can be a bit easier just to grab the lines here and drag the mouse horizontally. Now you may have noticed that the FM section has disappeared now and has been replaced by sync. And this refers to the internal sync oscillator of the Hypersaw, which for oscillator 2 is always active. Let's take a listen to that now. And if you like, you can use the filter envelope to sweep the sync for you, like this. So you just head over to the filter page and adjust the attack and decay rates of the filter envelope accordingly. But the hypersaw doesn't stop with a saw waves. For every uh, saw wave you activate, there is also a sub oscillator, which generates a square wave an octave lower. And we use the sub oscillator volume control here to bring these into the mix. And this is scaled uh, so that when you turn it all the way up, the saws are faded out altogether, leaving just the sub-oscillators. And these also respond very effectively to both the detune and uh, internal sync oscillator. So what we have here is effectively a fully-fledged multiple square wave oscillator at this point. And if all this still isn't enough, then you can always bring oscillator 1 into the mix. Now the hypersaw in oscillator 1 has mostly the same functionality as it does in oscillator 2, with one notable exception, and that is that the oscillator sync is not enabled by default. And this, along with uh, the oscillator balance control, allows you to mix the sync effect more or less subtly as you require. So if we set up a uh, nice lot of saws there, detune them again, like that. And we can bring these in like that. Let's bring the sub-oscillators back a bit so we can hear the saws too. And we can turn up the sync. If you wish to enable the sync for oscillator 1, then just click on the sync button up here. Now both oscillators will follow the same sync amount. So all in all, the Hypersaw is way more flexible than it may appear at first glance, especially given that all the relevant parameters can be targeted in the modulation matrix. So let's just go to the matrix page so I can show you the relevant parameters. So to target um, the amount of waves or density, then you need to select oscillator 1 shape, or oscillator 2 shape, of course, if you're using oscillator 2 for the Hypersaw. Um, if you want to modulate the detune amount, then you uh, target oscillator 1 pulse width, or oscillator 2 pulse width. And to modulate the sync amount, then you target oscillator 2 FM amount, um, because the, it shares that same parameter on the hardware interface. So let's finish by listening to some sounds which I've selected to give you an idea of how diverse the Hypersaur oscillator is. 
This first sound uses just one hypersaur oscillator. It's got all nine waves uh, firing away there. And I've just run it through a high pass filter yeah, with some filter envelope sweeping it slowly. So you can hear we've already got quite a big pad sound there, and that's with no effects at all. This next batch uses two hypersaws. Uh, they're tuned an octave apart, and uh, I've got some sub-oscillators on them. And I'm also sweeping the sync amount of oscillator 2 with the filter envelope. I'll set it to a negative amount, and uh, just set decay to quite a long time here. And this means that the sync will be swept upwards very slowly as, uh, as I hold the note down. I've also assigned uh, the sync to the aftertouch as well, so you can uh, create a little bit of expression uh, by pressing on the keys like this. <laughs> Finally, this sound uses uh, several modulation routings, are well, the LFOs. Uh, LFO 1 is targeting the density of oscillator 1. LFO 2 is uh, also targeting the density of both oscillators, uh, as well as the sub-oscillator. And in the matrix, I've also got LFO3 targeting sub-oscillator volume at a different rate, and also the detune amount of oscillator 2. I'm using the filters in split mode to create a little bit of a, a stereo effect here. <laughs> 